See what's going on. And you ain't never gonna be pre baited a point out there. You can just see the marker, one of John's poles. Anyway, so I'm going fishing. There you can see Shrek, who's doing quite well at the moment. What you had so far, Dean? Nine. And I'm going to Yep, six pound bream and a And there in the distance you can just about make out John Rogan collecting eels from his eel nets. Paddy running around on the boat. Paddy well, Mr. Van Allen has just caught himself. Another big bream, as you can see. Lovely big brain. Great big fin on them, haven't they? Oh, a big rudder. Look at the size of that. It is a big one. My money's on the fish. Just lost me money. It only just fits in the landing net. Hey! <laughs> How's it my fly fight? <laughs> Not the best looking. The sure, fish. Not the best looking fisherman taking the video. Dean's on a bit of a roll at the moment. In every way you can fit. Sex and fishing, what more could he want? Oh, I mean seven pound. Seven pound dead? Yeah. Oh no, actually it's just seven pound dead. Well here we are, day two of our Ireland holiday. Dean's busy texting to his uh, girlfriend. Give us a smile, Dean. What you had this morning? Yep. Yeah. Next question, how big? Seven pounds and six pence. Five pounds something actually. There's his dirty now. I've had one fish. You can see quite a contrast from yesterday, but it's blue sky. I wasn't texting my girlfriend, I was just entering a number. Really All right. Late. See the swans feeding up the lake? I've just spoken to cousin King. Quite a contrast. The wind is in completely the, diff the opposite direction today. And you can see some sparkly sunshine right at the very end of the lock just disappearing. That's my tip. A lot of line bites. A few bites that I've missed and I've had one bream. You can see there's just a little bit of activity on it now. the bait, ground bait, the full bucket. It's bad news, we need to get that in at it's some stage Wayne today. Russell. Are you ready for tomorrow? Dean and I... Poaching, can I speak please? Go on. Poaching a fish out of my swim. I don't think so. Tell them the story about the fish we just had, Dean. Uh, no, we'll tell them later. Listen no, to that. on the Listen. camera. Can you hear that noise? And over there we have... What is it, Wayne? Bream. A roach. Oh, 
Ooh, around about two and a half, three pounds. We do talk a lot of crap, <laughs> Alan. <laughs> We've had a bit of a set to today. Of course, I won. Tell them about the fish that we shared. And is it in a net, Wayne? Yep. It's in a net. I'd say about four and a half pounds. <sighs> Maybe it's not four and a half pounds. He's <laughs> could be round about mm, five ish. And all right, if, I, if it doesn't fall in, I'll, I'll get a weight for it. If it does fall in, I won't get a weight. Just for look it. at the lake across there. Look, beautiful now. Oh dear! <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? How much did it weigh, Wayne? <laughs> no idea. Well, I'll give myself six for that. You get lost. <laughs> that disaster that I've just had. The tip of me rod. Probably my biggest bream of the day, somewhere near seven pound, and I dropped it in without weighing it. You can see my tip there is showing a little bit of activity. Here the starlings roosting in the background. Let's look at that beautiful sight. Not a breath of wind, the swans. See little fish topping in our swim. Dean's Waggler is out there waiting to go. It's Marcel fly fishing down the lake. In the boat we were in earlier. That's the swim probably Tony's going to be fishing tomorrow. And there is the Allen. How was your love life, Wayne? Not too bad. Yeah, just a minute ago, uh, I'd hooked a fish in the top of the head. Was playing it in. Unfortunately, went through Dean's line right at the net. Dean then struck, snapped my line, and managed to hook his line under my hook round the fin of the fish and uh, play it in above the waggler. And Dean has just hooked one on the waggler. Here is. Oh no. Had him on. I heard the clutch go. What do you think of that, Mr. Allen? <laughs> just listen to those birds roosting in the trees above. Just look at the lake. It's now alive with activity. Flies hatching. See it there. The old fish topping that in the background. A bream rolling. And Dean and I have got about 70 pounds each. You see right down the end of the lake there you can see bream topping like mad. Beautiful sight. Are you rolling over there, Wayne? No, that's swallows oh, right, hitting right. the water. That's what I thought it was down there, but it wasn't. It was the swallows coming down. Absolutely oh, surrounded by flies. Little bubba. What have you got there then, Russell? A little bream, a little baby bream. And there we have the face of a man with no love life. <laughs> <laughs> this is a day of two halves. I've got a little fish there just nibbling. On my bait, just a little bit of a shower, but it's now flat, calm, and absolutely glorious. You can see Mr. Bennett there, struggling to land a big bream.
Well done, Mr. Okay, Bennett. now. Well done, Mr. Bennett. And there is Mr. Remenham, Angling Society. He was founded in 1938. How's your love life? Better than yours. There's that marker still. Light aircraft going into Abilara. Well, here we are again. Weather's changed, I'm just getting a bite look. And I've got a bream on, as you can see, nodding away. It's very hard to video and hold a fish at the same time. I'll have to cut off, I think. Mr. Bennett's definitely cracked it today. He's waggler fishing. Out to his mark. And he's catching bream. He's doing very well. He's heading for a hundred pounds. Suspects this one might be uh, hooked somewhere other than its mouth. Bream on the waggler. I wish I was a fisherman, tumbling on the seas. Hold it so we can have a look. Hold it up, more upright. That's it, beautiful. Well done, Mr. Bennett, £7.1 ounces.